Hi folks, it's Evo here from Thundermist Lure Company. We've just come off having a great day on the water and uh, we're going to take a minute here to show you a quick demonstration on how to fillet fluke, otherwise known also as flounder. Okay, so we're going to get started here. Claudio is going to start just cutting uh, behind the gill cover. As you can see, just working his way around the gill cover there and uh, down towards the belly. Now you might notice he's using this big knife it's, uh, it's a serrated knife and um, he likes to use a serrated knife only because the skin is very tough. So he's only going to use the serrated knife here in the beginning and then he's going to switch over to a fillet knife. So what he's doing now, he's just piercing the skin along the top of the backbone uh, and working his way towards the tail. Then he's going to continue around the tail and do the same thing around the belly. Now, another thing that Claudio's done here, because these fluke are very slimy and slippery, um, what he's done is he's used a paper towel. And the paper towel helps keep the fluke in place and allows him, <clears throat> allows him to maneuver the fluke and, and, and make the cuts much, much easier. So it's a, a nice idea to just put a paper towel down first. Okay, now he's ready to fillet. Once you've cut all the way around the fluke like that, oh, we're going to make this into, um, actually we're going to get four fillets out of one fluke. So he's going to do an incision right up the middle of the lateral line. And what you'll get is you'll get two fillets off of this side, and then of course you'll get two fillets off of the back side as well, giving you a total of four. So now, just with a fillet knife, very simply just run the knife along that one bone, and fluke just have one bone right down from the head to the tail and they have a very very small rib cage so basically what you see there everything is all meat that's all fillet there uh, and very tasty might I add so he's just gonna continue working there along the bones nice and close to the bones there you go and then he'll have one boneless fillet right there ready for the table. There we go and you can see here how nice and clean it's all bone here. Claudio's done a real nice job keeping close to the bone right there and there's one nice fillet right there. Okay we're gonna make the second fillet and again all you do is just continue along those bones as that bone just continues along its way and then the very small rib cage there right where he's cutting there right now just around the rib cage and continue, look at that, it's a beautiful job Claudio. Right along those bones, leaving no meat behind. That is absolutely perfect. There we go. And now, um, that's two fillets right there. And then to remove the skin, you basically take your knife and run it between the meat of the fish and the fillet. So you're going to take the knife, start it off there on the tail end, and then um, some people use a fork just to hold the, the fillet down, and Claudio's just using his fingers there. And very simply, just slide your knife just on the underside of the skin, just like that. Perfect. Okay, let's do the second one, Claudio. Let's just remove the skin. Maybe you could use the fork for this one little demo here just use the fork down it goes that just helps hold the fillet in place and away we go work the knife along just under the skin and you'll end up with a nice boneless skinless fillet of fluke now we could have left that hole if you wanted to and just left one fillet one big fillet but uh, we opted to go with uh, two fillets here and we're going to do the same thing on the other side for another two fillets. That is absolutely perfect. So thanks Claudio for that fish cleaning demo. That's perfect and I like the little tip with the paper towel allowing you to clean that fish much much better so it doesn't slide around on you and it's that easy folks. So as always until next time, good luck on the water and good fishing.